Hey there guys, so apparently they just put out Vex's ability like an hour ago, so let's just go straight into this and, uh, you know, review the abilities, don't want to take it too long. Yeah, and let's see. Uh, let's start with the passive first, let's pause this video. Doom and Gloom, Doom periodically, Vex becomes empowered by Doom, causing her next basic attack or ability to interrupt dashes and fear enemies. And in Gloom, whenever a nearby enemy dashes or blinks, they become marked with Gloom, Vex's next basic attack against a marked enemy. Then it's a mark dealing bonus damage and refunding a part of Doom's cooldown. Wait. So a fear? The ability will fear and it gets a mark and then you reset it. Uh you know, I thought that was gonna be like something else. That's kinda cool. But that's crazy though, because then you can use any of your abilities to to do a fear. That's really, really strong actually. Then it keys the bolt, as imagine. Yeah, Vex launches a wave forward, dealing match damage to enemies that passes through. After a short delay, the wave accelerates but has reduced width. Mistral Bolt detonates gloom on any marked enemies if it hits. And it detonates the, the mark too. The auto mark gloom, not doom. Doom's the one that fears. Okay. Not bad, pretty simple. Personal space. Vex gains a shield and emits a shockwave, dealing magic damage to enemies around her. Personal space detonates gloom on any marked enemies if hit. As well, yeah, I thought this actually gave speed when I saw the teaser at first. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like that it's straightforward and it's really on the passive. They did want a more straightforward mage who needs mobility, so that's cool. The looming darkness shadow flies to a location, increasing in size as it travels. On arriving, shadow deals da magic damage, slows and marks enemies with gloom as well. So it increases as it travels. Oh yeah, yeah. So the whiff increases. I wonder what the, <laughs> the max range for that is and how much damage it does because it could be a pretty good steel tool actually a lot of your things could be pretty good steel tools <laughs> let's see here oh so this i thought was like mark and dash like snowball from aram because it looked like it shadow flies forward marking and dealing magic damage to the first enemy champion hit vex can then recast the ability to have shadow pull her to the marked target dealing additional magic damage the marked target dies within a short time of taking damage from Shadow Surge. Vex can cast Shadow Surge again within a few seconds. Yeah, so it's exactly what I thought. Like, you know, you it's like Mark Dash. You hit it with a snowball and then you could dash to it. And if they die within a short time period, it resets. Ah, this champion's actually really, really simple. And it's exactly what I thought from the trailer. That's pretty cool. It wasn't too hard to spot on, to be honest with you. It really matters on numbers if she's going to be really strong or not, but, uh, it's a really good mid laner to play kind of, I guess, weak side. You can play pretty safe and then be there for team fights with a good amount of AoE, a good free on a lot of people. That's actually really, really good. And she has the potential for reset too. I, I think she's pretty cool. She's pretty fun, simple, nice addition. Like she's only really like super broken if she has like huge damage numbers or big item abuse. But she still has like that big playmaking potential because she could ult in and like or flash in and like fear everyone with the doom mark. Oh, that's I like that. That's it, right? And then this skin. I actually don't mind this. I think this champion is going to be really cool and a lot of fun. I can't wait to play it. I definitely play it on stream when that happens, which reminds me, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. PST. If you want to come hang out with me, ask me any questions or ask me to play something. That was a great segue. Hope you guys have a good day. See you later.